So today we're going to be taking a look at patios that have been laid rigidly on mortar and exactly what's going on underneath them. All set then, Trev? Let's go. Okay then, Trev, so we're talking about a rigid mortar base with this one. Am I right in thinking that I can lay any paving flag on a rigid base? You can, Kev, but uh, it's not necessarily the best for all our products. Right. But if you want to be absolutely sure, yeah. go onto the Marshalls website where all the information for all the installation designs yeah. and guidelines are there. Yeah. Then alternatively, if you want to use a Marshalls accredited installer, total peace of mind for yourself. Brilliant, great stuff. And as with all of the sort of like installations that we would do, I'm gonna start with digging out. Yes, you are. Right. And what we wanna do here, we wanna take out about 180 millimeters. Yeah. And once we've done that, you can install your red restraints. Not absolutely necessary on a rigid installation. Okay. It's more for aesthetics, right. but it's, it's a nice to have. Sure. Um, we then introduced two layers of MOT type one, which is a hard core in yeah. two layers of 50 millimeters. Mm -hmm. We compact it and that's ready then to accept our mortar bed which we're going to lay our flags onto. Okay, so edge restraints, not vital, but if they look good and you want them, you can have them. Exactly that. Um, and then our hardcore's that gone down. Um, at this point then, what happens next? Should I see my contractor sort of like lay in the flags? Does he do a, what is it, some sort of better mortar? Or do they do that five spot method? No, 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 never the five spot method. We right. like a full mortar bed. The be that's best practice. Okay. The five, five spot bed is defunct. We don't do that anymore. So right. best practice is a full mortar bed. And we also like to apply a PVA or a slurry backing to the back of the flag that really gives you good adhesion sure. to the bed that you're installing. And that mortar bed, is there any recommendation on how deep that should be? Yes, that wants to be around 30 to 40 millimetres and right. it wants to be a nice wet workable mix. So once we've got all of our paving flags laid, the whole area has gone down, presumably we've got to think about jointing. That's right, and you've got a few options here. Okay. Um, depending on the type of paving, uh, you can either do a full mortar joint right. where you actually point and joint it in or you can use the weather point 365 depending on the paving you've got but that's crucial. And normally the joint between the paving is about eight to 15 millimeters. Right, brilliant, lovely. Thanks so, so much, Trev. So there you go, that was just a brief look at what's going on under a rigid mortar base. But of course, uh, if you want full technical specification or any clarification on any points, check the website for details or search for a Marshalls accredited installer in your area who will come and do the work for you. You can always use the comments box as well below this video to uh, just raise any questions that you may have. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel for more great videos like this one. Thanks for watching once again. See ya.